Hello, welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. And we're here hanging out with Yoshida. And in the last video, we're helping out Futaba experience the real world, make her more social, not an introvert anymore. And we'll see what happens later on with her. But first, we're gonna see what happens with Yoshida. Okay, so Benzo is saying, however, the government's overall approval rating is dangerously low. Yes. I'll be sure to proceed with caution, considering that the grandson of my former teacher is showing me such kindness. Yes, well, I'd like to discuss a personal matter. Allow me to be frank. I will be running for my grandfather's seat in the coming election. I see. Congratulations. I held a low level position in the party's executive office, but I'm new to candidacy. So I was hoping you could educate me on how to run an election campaign. However, well, I was planning on running myself, and I don't believe that I'm qualified to teach you. Heard that you've been working harder than anyone these past 20 years. Well, I did have a lot of free time after I lost the election. Studying is an, that's all an amateur can do. Amateur, you're a veteran if anything. Besides, you have experience teaching him, right? Your reputation has greatly improved around the executive office recently, and my grandfather has expressed his intent on making peace with you now. Mm. I'll be happy to bury the hatchet by Mr. Kuromoto, but I'm not worried to join his group again. I thought you would find these conditions favorable. So I ask you that you keep what I'm about to tell you a secret. You. Sorry, can you give me a, us a moment, Kurosukun? No, I'd like for you, your favorite people to hear this too. Mm -hmm. Wait a moment, is your plan to evolve him so that I can decline? I simply trust his discretion. The crew Musa group is planning to move forward with a political rearrangement. Re Are you saying that you're going to secede from the liberal corresponsity party? With the government in a weakened state, now is our chance. As such, I want to emphasize our unity. I see. And so if you come to me, a former member of the Kuromoto children. But my views differ from those of Kuromoto group, and I don't intend on changing them. I understand, however, you won't be able to put those beliefs into action if you don't get elected. Kuzuku, could you talk some sense into him? You'll benefit as well. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, you should decline. You think so too, hmm? Huh. You're not intimidated even by the grandson of the big time diet member. I appreciate your offer, but I must respectfully decline. So you're okay with me no good Toro forever. Call him Mr. Yoshida. Gorsukun. Looks like you chose the wrong politician to follow. I still believe in him. Try to understand that he has his own beliefs. My apologies, I made a slip of the tongue and in front of your secrecy, no less. I don't need an answer right away. If you want to show differences to my grandfather, please let me know. I already took care of the bill, so enjoy now if you excuse me. <sighs> What's the point in getting elected and me sacrificing your beliefs? I bet when push come to shove, Kuromoto-kun intended to lure you in. He probably didn't set me to remain so calm after he showed a trump card. I feel surprised to let ease when you're with me. Like that time was... I don't know how to say his name. I apologize. I truly am indebted to all you've done for me. But I must ask you, continue to help me. And Bond grows deeper. And two more, no three more times to hang out and then we're done with him. You know, from the way he was acting, I swear Kuromoto-kun was hiding let's something. Say we go home. Uh, my apology, we're done eating, so let's go home. And charm increases. Well then, I'll see you again. He's so annoying, where's the Phantom Thief would take care of him? That would be awesome, why not make a request on the forum? That the catchiest all talk, isn't he? Why is he so hostile towards the Phantom Thieves? 
Right? Some people just can't read the mood. A catchy as best pancake boy. Don't respect the pancake boy. Nobody should disrespect pancake boy. Well, Let's see our plans for today. Are what are we doing today? We have any? Yeah, we don't have anything planned. I'm not shopping with Makoto. We're head over. We'll head over when we're done. Honestly, I wanted to bring Futaba along with us. We can't just take her into a crowd like that, though. That'd be way too soon. So thank you as the measures are necessary. Yep. So spiky <laughs> words. You know, you need to do this someday, right? Actually, Queen's Co have a lot of spikes too. They probably pierce my hand if I touch them. I've honestly considered the possibility as well. Not you too, Yusuke. Yay, this sounds like fun. I wanna join. We're talking to Futaba. This doesn't involve you. No. Honest, go to Ryuji. Don't take notes on this. Anyway, look forward to us coming over. My heart's pounding. Just what are they skimming? I'm so curious who the Phantom Thieves really are. Miss... Miss... Want... <laughs> want me to steal your heart? Is that a pickup line? Don't make me laugh. Apparently they're even famous overseas. Isn't that nuts? I wish you could join the Phantom Thieves. You could. You should think come with us in the metaverse. Today's the fourth day already. We getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. No! Stop it! You're gonna pull my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. What do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. A uh, swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. You could just dive in the water with your clothes on. I did that one time, and it was pretty heavy, my clothes. They are all wet. You can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? We'll get killed instantly, yes, I understand. We'll take our leave. Oh, wow, it's perfect. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go! It's on! What the? It's barely covered with anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Push! <laughs> Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed! I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? They probably got her a huge one. That's why. Futaba in his swimsuit. Hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. And perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. <laughs> You're such a perf. Sounds yeah, it sounds great. Don't do it. <laughs> it would really suck if she thought all of us were to blame for that pervy shit. You think the one that came up with it though? You guys are such children. With all the ruckus upstairs. Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All butter inside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. We're right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. You scan his art. We got swimsuits, we're totally ready to hit the beach. Oh, that's legend for Tabitha to prepare herself mentally. I can do this. I can. I think. 
Maybe? You're... <laughs> so you're not confident? Shut up, Inari. Eh, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still, I've been thinking about some things that the matters have calmed down a little more. Like what? The psychiatric breakdown of cognitive science. And the one in the black mask. I wonder who they are. They think they're going for the same thing we are? That said, we don't have enough information right now. We need to investigate more. I'll help out too. We can talk more about this stuff another time. I'm so damn sleepy. Okay, good night then. Futaba Chun, good luck tomorrow too. Hiding both face and mind. All free for you to drive. Nice. I'll just add this. You know, I just remembered. We got a lottery ticket. And the date is already way past due. So let's check out the the lottery. Over here. Let me check the results. Congratulations! Ah, nice, I won! Cool. <laughs> if I win the lottery, I'm gonna save it and not tell anybody. That would be cool. Right, you just turned 18. Well, in, over here, you need to be 18 to buy a lottery ticket. So this is my region. You can turn 18, get, you can buy a lottery ticket, so you can win like a couple hundred dollars or something. Or maybe you're thinking, I'm gonna win the lottery today. And then boom, you instantly win it. You instantly successful life right there. But don't get too greedy about it. It may seem good for a while, but then eventually, that kind of go, go going downhill. All right, Miss Kawakami, it is then. Let's call her. Oh, hi. Hey. Jeez. <sighs> Are you serious? I told you. You with that story about my sick little sister was a lie. No, you're being used for money. Are you still request me? Who was the master here? At? I want to know more. Huh? You good with what that do? You really are one strange kid. I'm a New Yorker teacher and a New Yorker maid. And yet you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. So... The money, essentially, and the apology. There was a student named Tasuke at the school I taught at sh before Shujin. Tasuke-kun was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a bit. Sounds like somebody I know. <laughs> so I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather pushing him to transfer to another school. But then I realized, but I mean, what realized? What the heck? But when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs so he could cover his living expenses. His relative took him in when he his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Then the strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got caught into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'll be dismissed if I continue to tour Tosuke kun. How terrible. Yeah. But you could say the same about me. I got scared of losing my job and of having rumors spread about me, so I, I canceled our upcoming touring session. Tasuke Kun was on his way to one of his part time jobs when I told him on an other day it was New Year's Eve and, he was, and it had been pouring rain all day and he died in a car crash. He sounded so depressed when I told him that he couldn't tour him anymore. 
But then he said that it was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I kept my promise to him. It was bad luck. Well, well okay. That, that's not very good to say. That's not a good thing to say at all. It's not your fault. Tasuke Kun was a exhausted from all the touring sessions and working at all his part-time jobs. The guardian blamed me for for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said that he was going to sue me. They were going to sue me and take the issue of the media and board of education. Would have to. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but it would have gotten out and the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching no matter what. So I ended up paying them the apology money, so I wouldn't, they wouldn't sue me or say anything. Guardians, huh? Oh, indecisiveness. The, that backed him into a corner and I blame myself every day. I know pain them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. And it seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangement, so... See? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved in me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others so I don't meddle in my student's life. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbyes as well. Want to see you again. Chris Kuhn. You're really not the type to bat down, are you? I guess we're in this together, now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you can get free periods with them too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. Nice. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm going to put more entry into this than usual today. Oh my, this room is so dusty. You know, I wipe the place squealy clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, Master. I work hard to earn my keep. Uh, hmm. Well, it's so dusty. If my cough is already this bad, maybe we're better out tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Well, the sh but I mean, strictness of this room is. Surely it's charm, so let's keep it as it is. Alright, I have to go. Thank you so much! Oh, and this master, thank you for using our service today. This is so, that is so soul draining. I'm not just gonna talk normally. I'm just gonna talk normally. No point in making sales call at this late anyways. By the way, I always wanted to ask, but do you live in that cafe right now? There's always a nice uh, curry smell around the place. Do you get to eat that place curry every day? You want some? Oh, then I can serve it to you. Imagine it was cooked by your own maid with lots of love. Okay, that was a joke, but God, I could really go for some homemade curry right now. Sorry, I can't seem to shake this cough. I've been so busy lately. But I always be waiting, ready and waiting for my master to request me. Okay, don't stay up too late night. Beach time. So what should we do today? Let's see, wanna eat together? You know, like how we had hot pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. No, but this is for Futaba's sake. <sighs> Fine. You owe me, got it? I want the same. Extra large. Uh, I ate loads. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You better not be hitting on me. How rude. Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? So does this mean our training's going good? I guess that's not bad. 
Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa! You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm-hmm. It's lots of fun. Hey, what do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba. Will you be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow? That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. When is it good for you? I should be good if it's the day after tomorrow, I think. We'll go the day after tomorrow, then. Just let us know if you aren't up for it, Futaba, okay? It's alright, I can do this. Looks like we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. The real question to be asked, where have I been? Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so we have two days left. One day left actually. To the we go to the beach. I'm I'm guessing we have a free day the next day. Let's go back to the diner and race my guts. with the dishes okay never mind we don't have a free day then you want anything Futaba orange juice 100% natural that reminds me you're going to the beach tomorrow yeah go have fun and make up for the fireworks just try not to cut loose too much fireworks oh yeah you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm a catchy. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai San recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakava Ishikis. Uh, what'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. <sighs> Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, 
you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? <laughs> What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. Oh, that's a shame. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. I'm using, like, the most hated, disrespectful options because when we're hanging out with him, raising his kafodan, I'm choosing the nice, the best, the ones he like, the nice answers, because it raises more points for him to hang out next time. But here, I'm just choosing the disrespectful ones. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. Again, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna affect his kafodan. And my ear is starting to ring now, and that hurts now. I don't know why. You know, Akechi, that annoying dude. I always change the channel when I see him. All he ever does is nitpick. There's no way the fantasies are the bad guy. He's so desperate, it's kind of lame. Come out, right now. I'm outside LeBlanc. Alright. Fireworks, can we? I bought some. Mm -hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Hold on, Futaba. I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! Right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! no! <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I'm some kind of toy? <laughs> Poor Morgana. Alright, we're going, going to the beach tomorrow. I've been anticipating for this for so long. We'll be entrusting care of Futaba to you, Akita. I'm worried. Don't worry, I'll be there to keep you safe. <laughs> Only after you try not to get separate from each other in the crowd, okay? No worries. I already made preparations for that that happens. That does that don't make me feel better. Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo. Let alone watching over someone else. Still, going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. Oh, okay. So, next video, we're gonna go into the beach. Oh, I can still hang out with somebody. Okay, first, we're gonna hang out with somebody. Then, we're gonna go to the beach. Okay, so, if you enjoyed this video, give a like, please. Subscribe if you haven't. And join us every more Persona 5 Real videos. Or any other upload. And I hope you have a nice day too. And I'll see you later. Bye.